So how is your experience working with 39 special specialists, sir? I've been here for one year right now. It is almost one year and I'm extremely happy because um, the, the vision and the mission of the company is very aligned with my vision and, and, and personal mission also. So it's very easy to work here because uh, we have the same goal, the same purpose. We are doing the, basically the, the investment in the right things to achieve the, the better possible results. So it's, it's, it's very comfortable to me to be here. So what inspired you to do specialization, especially in embryology, sir? It was the, the, the possibility to help people. Because when you study biology, biology um, you, you more or less understand what's happening inside the body, yes. which is quite interesting as such. But when you have the option to apply that in a clinical setting and to help people somehow, it's very motivating. And in this case, I was very young at that time, so I didn't know what being a, a father or being a parent mean. But uh, it is so beautiful. End of the day. I mean, if you can help couples to have babies, to, to, to make also families and to have this uh, contribution to society, it's something very inspiring. So, being an embryologist, so what is the most rewarding part you feel like an embryologist? I would say that the best part of being an embryologist is being an embryologist. It's something strange at some point, but uh, you, you have to be an embryologist to know what I mean. Because w when you are working with, with magic, it's something beautiful. You, you have gametes in your hands and you make embryos. So you see all this potentiality in, in your hands in the laboratory. You are contributing and helping this potentiality to, to, to grow, to flourish in the laboratory. And finally, you see also the results. And you also see the, 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 the test, the, the positive test, the, the happy families, the babies. So it is absolutely encouraging. So all the way through your journey, you would have faced a lot of struggles, sir. So can you share some of them with us? Life is a bunch of uh, struggles. <laughs> In, in, any, in any any field and in reality it's also like that because we are also under pressure you have to also to give results you have so many cases so many things to do at the same yes. time so it is struggling and, and coming to a different culture to a different country like india was also struggling initially because you have to adjust to the way of thinking here the way of doing things here to, to understand the, the whole setting here it was really a, a, a struggle but you also learn so many things at the same time so you really open your mind you really learn new things so you have this kind of attitude of being open to, to, to anything and just learning out of it. It is really a, a, a life-changing experience. So how do you think the technology can contribute the success rate in IVF, sir? When we talk about IVF labs, it is all about technology. We work with our hands, but we need the help of technology in every single step because we use microscopes, we, we use also laminar airflows for the, for the, for the manipulation of the, of the gametes and the embryos. We use uh, refrigerators, we use incubators. So everything is about technology. So obviously we need technology. You can invest more and you can have better quality or you can have basic quality, but we need technology. In our case also in 39, we are also betting for the best possible technology and the cutting edge technology, because we know this is also helping us to have excellence, not only to have pregnancies, which is obviously our main uh, outcome, but to have excellence in the results also. And to do that, you need to have also the, the best possible technology. You need to have criteria to invest correctly, because not all the technologies are really helping. You need to have evidence-based decisions for that. And we are doing also that in 39 with technology like Siltrix or RI Witness, we will talk about this, I guess, later. The best possible incubators also for the for them just to have the, the best possible uh, culture conditions. So technology is, is, a, is a cornerstone in our field. We, we cannot work without technology, actually. 